Oh, look. Hey, everyone. It's your friendly neighborhood mad scientist. And as most of you know, my PC is running Linux as my primary OS. I've been running Linux since 2019, and I'm really happy with it. I play most games. I play Elden Ring. I play um, SnowRunner. I play Forza Horizon 5. Um, I play a lot of different games, all in Steam, all on my Linux PC, and everything works pretty well. Uh, sometimes there are some glitches. Forza had some glitches for a while. Uh, and adjusting the version of Proton uh, helps. Sometimes I use Proton Experimental, sometimes I use a different version. Um, sometimes you have to adjust your launch settings and add some codes in there. But it's, but it's relatively easy to do uh, for most games, for most games that are available in Steam. Now, I wanted to play this game. It's mainly a mobile game, I guess, Zenless Zone Zero. And I, I played it on my phone a little bit, but I really don't like playing games on my phone. First of all, it like my phone got really hot and uh, it killed my battery in like an hour. Uh, and then it was just kind of, I, I don't know, I just, the con using joystick controls on a screen, virtual controls, I just didn't like it. So I wanted to play this game on my Linux PC uh, with my Xbox controller the way I play most of my other games. So this game is not offered on Steam directly, but um, I looked at a number of uh, YouTube videos and there were some, there were some guides on using Lutris or some of the other game launchers on Linux. And I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to have it in my Steam library like my other games and just click play like I do with my other games, and I found this video. This is the video, if, you're, if you want to play Zenless Zone Zero on your Linux PC in Steam, this is the video to follow. You have to be, he, he goes into great detail. You just need to listen to everything he says and do everything he says in the guide. It's, but it's very easy to do. It doesn't require any additional software. I have not installed Lutris or any other launcher. I'm doing this all in Steam. Now, his video is specifically for the Steam Deck, but it's essentially the same if you're running Steam on a Linux PC. So just go to YouTube and look up the Deck Wizard channel and then look for his video, how to install Zenless Zone Zero Steam Deck, Steam OS, and it's it's just a perfect it's just a perfect video for installing this game Zenless Zone Zero on your Linux PC. Now I'm going to switch to uh, I'm going to switch to Steam and I'm going to show you how this game I'm going to show you exactly how this game loads. I think there we go. I am starting this directly from Steam. So here we go. I'm I'm already logged in. Now you will get a browser. Um, a browser window will pop up. I'm using my Google account. Uh, to log into this game. So you you just need Steam to launch a browser and then you just log into your Google account and then you're good. Now, some people have a little trouble with that on the Steam Deck, but on a regular PC, it's gonna be much easier. Let me just click this and let's click, let's click play. Now, every time you launch the game, it is going to download this config data, but it only takes a few seconds. It's not bad. That's why I wanted to show it. And then, of course, it has to log on to the server.
Now, one of the things I wanted to talk about real quick is um, there is some problem. There are some little problems with this game. Um, and I'm not sure if it's something they're going to work out in the future. I hope it is. But there is some kind of memory leak where if I play this game for more than two hours, the FPS gets really low. I'm talking like between five and ten frames per second. And it's just, it's really unplayable. And at that point, all you need to do is you need to quit the game and then quit Steam and then restart the game. You don't even have to restart your PC. So I did this during a live stream last night. Uh, so I did not have to stop streaming. I did not close OBS. I did not, every, everything was still going on my stream on Twitch. I just had to close the game because I, I actually played it for two and a half hours, but then I had to close the game and restart it and restart Steam. And then I was back to 60 FPS. So that is a little bit of a glitch. But, you know, I couldn't even play this game for more than an hour on my phone before my phone was overheating or the battery was completely dead. So, I think two and a half hours on a PC is uh, is plenty of time and I'm getting a nice, a smooth uh, 60 FPS and we're just gonna go do a fight. We're gonna go do a fight here just to, just to show um, some combat because I figured that's what you guys actually wanna see. Um, I have my, um, let me go into, actually, let me go, let me go in. I'm using, uh, so here's this character. And I have this character. Let's see. Nothing to fear. The cunning hairs are here. And then I have this character. <gasps> I'm sorry. Need something? My services are expensive. Ready for combat. So these are the three characters that I'm currently leveling up. Nothing to fear. Um, I have these at, at level 30. <gasps> Don't look at me. Need something? My services are expensive. Standing by. So, okay, so let's, uh, let's do a, um, let's do a VR fight. Uh, we're gonna go into here. Yeah, let's do it. What do I want? Um, I actually want some of these. Actually, let's do some, uh, W engine modification. I don't think I have any of these. I, I think I need to farm some of these. Um, why does this... I'm not sure why this is up. I have to... There's so many things about this game I have to learn. But let's just go in. And, uh... Attack polarizer. I'm still learning what all these different things are. Um, let's do, um... I'm just gonna do easy mode for right now. Because I just want to show some combat in the game. All right, so these are my three um, characters that we're gonna that we're gonna use, and here we go. And I'm using an Xbox controller wirelessly uh, on my PC. Alright, so there you go. Uh, we got some stuff. 
We did the, we did the thing. And uh, yeah, and this is all running on my Linux PC. So uh, I will see you guys on Twitch and uh, have an awesome time. See ya.